Hello viewers at home. We are waiting for the match to begin against CSSCSCS Smash White. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Southwest Christian School. Do we know where that is? Fort Worth. Fort Worth. So we got San Antonio versus Fort Worth. I think the matches are going to be interesting today because depending on how our opponents are and if they have the DLC, I feel like we're going to be seeing Sora. Jared, your handle's funny, right? Yeah, do you think we'll see any Soras today? You're going to see a, you're going to see a Sora from me, that's for sure. Hope they're not watching and just heard who I'm gonna play. That'd be funny. Probably not. And yet there's five people in chat. Hey, Mark's watching. <laughs> Hi, Mark. How's your day? Mark, you can type in chat, by the way. I want, I want to know how your day is. I want everyone to know how your day is. Jared is throwing a pencil at me. Get out of my face. Get that camera out of my face, Landon. Landon is attacking me. I'm holding a camera to Jared's face. Stop, dude. Not right now, dude. What? Stop. Get my good side. <laughs> Jared is now flipping through the, the roll book. Jared has dismantled the roll book. <laughs> Battlefield ban coming out of Jared. You never told me how your day was. Unless he did. Oh my gosh, we have so many viewers. Well, looks there's more people in chat than. Let's go, easy. We take these easily, with no stress. Jared is brandishing his Little Mermaid shirt. <laughs> Cube controller in hand, Jared is ready. Yeah, the lost is kind of near the front office. There's like a table set up, or it's in Miss Russell's office, depending on how they got this one. Thank you. Alright, they're going to ban small ballot. Good band spirit.
So we have a small battlefield in Pokemon Stadium ban from... Smashville. Now I think you're banning Smashville, right? No, that's what we're playing. Oh. He'll ban whichever one he's not going to do, which one will be the most. Which is Rumble Team Nation. So we're playing Smash Bros. It's a strike one, strike two, strike one. Ready? Here you go. We have a K-Roll versus. I already forgot who Jared was playing. Ness. Ness actually right there. Ness. Roll back from both players. Instant start with him. Kaylor's a mess. Scary projectiles. Smash attack coming out of K-Roll. Just shy of ledge. Okay, now an even game once more. Cave offensive. <laughs> this guy's good. You, you might want to not get started. Go Ganon. I'll go Ganon game one, and depending on how okay, that goes. You're gonna be, yeah, you're gonna be playing a different person. Yeah, I'm playing a different person. It was a game that I've already forgotten everything that happened. They said Pokemon League. I think they mean Pokemon City too. Uh, Kellos Pokemon League. Oh. Okay, never mind. Where is it? Wait. I'll find it. Wait. Wait. I found it. Ready? 
We have a Ness v Lucas, an interesting matchup. Both known for their signature move, PK Fire. Three, two, one, go! And it has begun. The PK fires <laughs> have been thrown out. Nice combo from Ness. Ooh, unfortunate bounce off the Kalos wall from Ness. A nice backer from Ness making the game even once more. It was a rar. Um, I learned how to do that. <laughs> and if anyone would like to know how to rar, um, basically what you want to do. <laughs> no. It's now become a rar tutorial. That was a good, um, I forgot what happened. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a little distracted at the moment. I'm texting my father. <laughs> technical stuff going on that I'm just not understanding as a game in North Carolina. But that is... <laughs> I know that move, that's up B. I was trying to do some like fancy, so... Yeah. Is there a game three or I'm so confused? I, I thought it was best of three. It, no, it's... well, it's... It, best of three to determine who wins for that set, but you play all three games for tiebreaker. And then I'll be gonna leave the final destination and Yoshi's story again. Mark misspelled his own name in chat. <laughs> he spelled he spelled his name Mark with a K. <laughs> Are you sure it's and then autocorrected. <laughs> yeah, because it's Marine oh. Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Great job, Mark. Don't make fun of our viewers. <laughs> we can make we fun can of Mark. Mark's on a team yeah, here. Yeah, Mark's our teammate. He's my teammate, at least. He's my teammate, too. We're all on the esports team. Oh, this person just wrong. Kirby Gaming 06. Kirby Gaming? I think I know who that is. Who is it? Should probably try. Is it? Mm hmm. If that's you in chat, give us a message. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. 
So they're going to do town and city. Town and city. I wonder if they're going to be changing their character right now. Since we did see this last round. <laughs> nope. So, kind of surprising, honestly, that they went back to Lucas. <laughs> That's it. Nice. That's it. That's all I have to say. One day I'll become a good guy. We have an interesting first stock here. Jared is notorious for losing first stock against this um, Lori. Jared says he's very uh, bad at first stock. It's true. Having played Jared <laughs> for years now, he never seems to learn that I do the same thing every game with no. No change, no strategy. The back, the bear, the the great grizzly bear has. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ooh, close recovery. But we now have an even game once more. Lost jump. I don't know what hubris means in this situation. Okay. <laughs> the commentating has brought us down to three viewers. <laughs> But I know Mark's still watching, so that's all that matters to me. <laughs> Lucas has a slight advantage coming into last stop. Jared's gonna get a nice 30% off to even things out. Ooh, a close, almost spike from the Ness. It's a very, um, this is a game and it has me on the edge of my seat. Ooh, but a back throw will end the game in Lucas's favor. Lucas wins. 
Jared should have stopped playing around. <laughs> My turn now. Now we can get some viewers. Absolutely. <laughs> Show them why not. You'll see if you can get them back. Oh, you might have to, you might have to change your controller or something. Do something with the controllers. Can I just unplug it? Um, no. Just back, back out with the GameCube controller. Or go down and press disconnect. Okay. And then do that. There you go. I'm here now. I didn't even have the other team. Choose your fighter! Oh, I forget to change your name. <sighs> Alright folks, we're set. This is gonna be an interesting match. New player for land in here. Hopefully, because it's definitely not, not the same person. Let's see what Landon can do. Landon should be going to the stage select right about now so he can start getting ready to ban stages because he does ban the first one. Let's see what he'll decide to ban. Landon. I will ban. He's going to ban something. Awaiting the ban decision. Let's see what he says. He's stuttering. He's sweating. He's crying at this point. Final Destination. He's going to ban <laughs> Final Destination. <laughs> because he doesn't like not having platforms. Final Destination is a very open stage, which Ganondorf can sometimes succeed on against the right character, but usually if you're gonna blind pick a, uh, a stage against a, to play against when you're on Ganondorf, it's not gonna be the Final Destination. You're not gonna want that. We are going to receive the two bands from the opponents now. Let's see what they got. They had small battlefield and something else you'll find out. Small battlefield. It's decent for Ganondorf, not really not really gonna affect him that much, so it's it's honestly not that big of a deal that it got banned. Um, although platforms can be really nice for Ganondorf, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but either way you're gonna be stuck with the stages that does have some platforms since the only one that doesn't is Final Destination, and we already got rid of that. So Ganondorf will have a decent time no matter which one. Then that would be funny and we'd see who's the better Ganondorf. <laughs> Unless you're gonna go Sora. Alright. Yeah. I'm going Sora when I give up on the game. <laughs> <laughs> Which we'll probably have after the game. Naturally. Alright, let's see how it's going. They have not chosen a, a second stage to ban. We. Pokemon Stadium, okay. So what are we left with, Landon? For you to well, choose from? Battlefield and Smashville. Battlefield and Smashville. Which one is Landon gonna choose? Smashville has one Battle platform field. in the middle, and uh, Town and City has three all over the stage. Dude, We're going to Battlefield, folks. An excellent choice for Ganondorf. You're gonna want platforms if you're on Ganondorf because of his massive hitboxes. That's pretty much it. His, his massive hitbox is good. For and a, a Byleth. This is going to be a little bit rough for Ganondorf because Byleth has a lot of true combos that are going to be reaching a lot farther than you're going to think if you're Ganondorf. But if Ganondorf can manage to get the, the Three, true two, confirms one, that he has, he can get it right. Let's see how this starts off. But looks like a nice, uh, quick, true little. Dash attack. They're almost getting the spike, not going to get it right off of that. It's going to be hard to edge guard against Byleth because of that uh, tether. That's pretty much invincible as long as she gets it. So, oh, and a big chain of forward airs, which might just take the stock. If she's smart about it, nope. She will not go down to edge guard. Ganondorf, pretty much one of the easiest characters to edge guard if you're, uh, if you're Byleth. Maybe she's just trying to fill it out right now. But these forward airs uh, seems to be the, the main combo of choice for this Byleth. See what uh, what land can get from here. Search fishing for <laughs> grass on the platform, rolling back and forth uh, a high digit amount of time. Not finding much. Both at around a kill percent for Ganondorf, honestly. Uh, if you get hit. Oh, and that's a trade, which will reset us back to a neutral. Even trade. Oh, oh, right now. And er, land and take advantage of the early violet drop, getting your own invincibility frames there. 
missing the grab. Side B's coming out from Byleth. This Byleth player seems a little bit less experienced than that Lucas slash uh, Kate roll. And barely spacing out that tether grab. Almost killed herself there. You gotta watch out for that. But a nice grab confirm will send it back to disadvantage state. Another grab back off stage. This is one of the worst spots you could be as Byleth. Uh, because there's only so many places where you can grab onto that tether, and if uh, Gammy can catch it before there, you're definitely dead. And that down B charge, not gonna be doing much in the air. You're not gonna get the super armor unless you're swinging that thing. The dash attack will send uh, Landon back off stage, and the arrow almost breaks shield. Very dangerous. Both of them fishing for a hit off stage. Forward throw, not gonna be anywhere near the ledge, so no kills coming off of that, but that Violet just killed himself. And did Landon? No, he didn't. He's coming back to the stage. Looking for some true Ganondorf stuff as the Sand. Might even take a trade here, honestly, just to get the confirm for the win. But, uh, this Byleth, I believe, looked the Oh, and that hits below. You gotta remember that hitbox. This is just a little bit of matchup inexperience. And the shield break! Hopefully he goes for the awesome reverse uh, neutral B. Won't kill, but it will get you a nice 50%. Nothing will kill Byleth uh, right there at, at 0%, but a lot of damage will take it. Now this Byleth is constantly fishing for this up B side B, which I don't think she completely knows how to do, but she knows that it's a true combo, which is something that our, our, our Ganondorf player, Mr. Zippy Plays Games, uh, will have to fish out. And a forward there would have killed. Unfortunately, the Byleth likes to use her side Bs a lot, which have a little bit of priority over uh, again uh, forward air. Nice big hitboxes above these platforms. Making it really hard for this Violet to land, and that's definitely going to kill at 120. The first game goes to Zippy. Good job. What stages are you going to ban, Landon? I'm going to ban uh, my destination and Yoshi's story. Interesting, interesting. Those are the exact same stages that I banned. <laughs> hmm. Someone needs to get original. <laughs> Very good, uh, bad so I would have done the same thing in a literal sense because I did. I don't like either of these stages for Ganondorf and uh, certainly not for Ness either. These uh, twisted ledges on Yoshi's Story are no fun to try to play on if you're Ganondorf. Unless you're playing against like a, a Puff maybe, I don't know. But good good bands, good bands Landon, I'm proud of you. <laughs> these platforms also aren't big enough for Ganondorf to really take advantage of. They're too wide and far apart, so nice. We'll get the stage pick here from CSC Smash White Southwest Kristen High School. You said CSC too, it's SCS. It says CSCS. I did the same thing. Yeah, you did it too. <laughs> <laughs> Town and city, run it back. Run it back, he says. Now this is uh, similar to Smashville or Final Destination, but the platforms are a lot higher, and some of them extend over the stage. They also move around a bit, if I'm not mistaken. So, a Joker swap, interesting. Now the Joker matchup is way harder for Ganondorf because of his counters, his Arsene, his uh, ability to just combo way more, especially when you're got a, you got a heavy character like Ganondorf who's just combo food. If he taps you off stage, uh, you're pretty much dead if you're Ganondorf, so you really want to play it safe on this one. But you're gonna have a lot more stage to work with too. And right off the bat, big combos. Those are all true. Nothing else you could really do about that with 40%. But three hits will get you way more than that if you're on Ganondorf, which uh, is definitely something you can take advantage of. Joker, while he's not in our sand, is quite light, so he's definitely killable. These counters coming up are not going to do much if they're uh, that readable. Except that one, apparently. Very counter heavy Joker here. And uh, just one hit like that. Unstaled with your arsen, definitely Joker always takes first stock like that. That's a 40% damage hit though. If you can land these counters on, on Joker, and okay, <laughs> big big force don't they? Gonna finish up that stock. So never mind what I was just saying. Landon looking for his uh, true down throw. Not gonna get much off of it though. Doesn't get the nair. And this is gonna kill. Oh, if 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 there was no counter there, that's one dead Joker on the screen. But uh, this Joker seems to really enjoy countering constantly, so maybe Landon might want to look for some more grabs here, or uh, something that. Okay, this is gonna SD on Joker. I can't know what you can do about that. But it uh, looks like these counters are gonna be coming out from this Joker a lot. It seems like a very counter heavy character. Ooh, a big hit! 
And that's Joker at kill percent. Almost getting the spike, not yet. But uh, these counters constantly <laughs> <laughs> landed. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you? T he's, he's countering landed. Grab him. Jeez, this is landing, guys. He's really, he's gonna throw this straight. Landon, just grab. Grab him if he's on the ground, Landon. He's only countering. Please. You're dead, Landon! Landon! What are you doing? You, you've down aired three times in a row. You, you messed it up so he wouldn't get the counter. Landon. Landon, he is, when he counters, you don't want to attack it as Gendo, because you're gonna die. No, no. Yeah, no. You, gotta, you gotta leave, you gotta leave. This time, uh, you get the bans, Landon, so you're gonna have to ban two stages. Oh, wait. He bans two stages of life. Hmm. And this Landon dwarf really going, going south yes, fast. <laughs> Go to the stage select, Landon. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm thoroughly disappointed. You're just shouting at me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in the montage right there. For who? Them. I'm making them a montage. You're making them a montage? Yeah. Let's see what they ban. If they're smart, they'll ban some platforms so Landon can't take advantage of them. But uh, either way, Lyndon's gonna get a, a stage he wants. <sighs> Lyndon, how you feeling after that game? You should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're banning Smashville and Yoshi's story. Or as they say, S. S. Ashville and Yoshi's story well ban. Oh, there we go, they corrected Smashville, never mind. I will, ah, shit, I will pick small battlefield. Landon's going to small battlefield. <sighs> Landon is deciding. He's going into the ring again. Ready? And he's facing this Joker once more, trying to clutch out a win here for ACP. Let's see if he can do it. Send Zippy your strength here. You threw the chat. You say something like cool or funny or like One, go land in or go. something like that. That'll be cool if you said that. Uh, but right off the bat, Joker fishing for grabs. Probably gonna be fishing for counter soon. Uh, low percent. I guess he he's the kind of guy who likes doing these up B characters with these tethers. Cause we saw uh, actually no, that was those, was that a different person? No, the Violet with the up B uh, confirmed. Just like this Joker. Grab him. Yep. There you go. Nice, with taking advantage of these constant uh, counters and uh, taking advantage of the laggy moves. Nice, big hit, gonna clean up that arsen, reset it back to zero, and uh, down a stock is uh, SCS. Right? These big hits, Joker always gonna die early to Vandendorf. Because uh, even although you get heavier when you've got arsen, it's not by that much, and we'll take that trade. You always take it putting on, a, putting on our opponents on last stock here. And he's gonna... Almost SD. You gotta be careful on Joker. Sometimes the tether can be wacky. Neutral be not gonna hit. A lot of rolls coming back and forth. A lot of rolls and dash attacks for both of these players. Forward tilt, dash attack, neutral air. Nice little combo there for Landon. True, true little confirms. And these uh, smash attacks on this counter is gonna be tricky, but Landon goes in with a grab. Puts uh, Joker back into disadvantage stage. Maybe he might even SD, honestly. That's an awful anger if you, angle if your Joker does uh, figure out the right one. And another forward tilt is going to send him farther. Joker recovers, but no R send. And a lot of things are going to be killing Joker in this percent. Like that up smash. Virtually lagless onto the stage platform there is Landon. And Landon will take it 2 1 against SC. Jared also went 2 1. If, would you like to comment on that? Yeah, but I was messing around. You just. I'm you, you were just bad. Okay. <laughs> I'll coach you later though, don't worry. Next time you won't drop the game. Yeah, we won, but we shouldn't have lost any games. Good job, guys. Good little thing there.
Yeah! 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 <laughs> 